Greetings to my general viewing audience. Jermaine Shane Black and I'm back. I want to begin this video by telling you to be sure to hit that subscribe button, that notification button, that like button. Just hit all the buttons on there. Looks like YouTube has changed their policies and are looking for creators to create content like three shorts a day. Hey, uh, I've got too much shit to do. So if you want to be sure you find my videos in Best do all three of those, or you can follow me on Twitter. I don't really tweet anything, but the days that I put my videos out, I share those via Twitter as well. Let's get right into this so we can make this a short. What do you believe came first? Was it discrimination and then race hatred? Or race hatred, which leads to discrimination? Let's have a quick look at a couple of videos showing some discrimination going on right here. Have a look. The girl's mother. Now that was some truly fucked up shit. And hopefully the lawyers, of course there will be a settlement, but hopefully it's in the tens of millions of dollars. Because looking at the hurt on that little girl's face, she said two videos. I'm talking about with the single girl. That's the daughter of a Quentin Burns in Baltimore. But you could tell she was really, really hurt when that motherfucker just ignored her. And you could see the same on the daughter and niece of Jody Brown. But at least there were two of them and they were together. They could kind of commiserate. But that's fucked up. They're children. And I believe all three of them are like five years old. So they're not used to rejection. They, you know, everybody loves him. They love everybody. And that's just how the world's supposed to be. So when they reach out for a hug, you're supposed to hug them back. And so that just... Uh. But I told you, shit like this was going to happen. All you have to do is watch my video where I talked about um, anti-racism and critical race theory. I told you at that point in time that when you discriminate against white people, white people are going to strike back. It will lead to race war, I called it. And I said black folks would lose. There are fewer, fewer black folks than white folks, and more white folks have guns than black folks do. When you start giving jobs to people based not on the content of their character, now I'm just fucking with you, not based on their skills and qualifications, but based on their race and gender, this is what you get. It happened the same way back in like the late 60s and 70s with affirmative action. Black people were given jobs to make up for discrimination which happened in the past. White people got pissed off at that shit. Sometimes down south, white people would take out their aggressive feelings in regards to the subject on black people. So, discrimination, period, is wrong. But when you do it, then this is what the politicians want. If the races are all fighting amongst themselves, then they're not going to stand together to get these certain bastards out of office. Say, like, well, no, I won't get into politics. But it's my feeling that first comes the discrimination... And then comes the race hatred. The people in those costumes likely were pissed off that they couldn't work at some 
firm or company where they get paid more money and at least have more respect and dignity than to be wearing these old fucked up ass costumes in the middle of summer. But they couldn't. Because who knows, a black person, Mexican person, um, Indian person, Native American person, very well may have gotten that job. And so they're pissed off because they may have been more qualified but didn't get the position. Uh, let's look at another example. Just, just to kind of provide some clarification. Say you're looking for a Supreme Court Justice. And you decide, oh, well, I am going to hire a black woman. And now, no one, your qualifications do not matter. The only thing that matters to me is your race and gender. That's it. Now you've just pissed off black males. You've pissed off white males. Hell, you actually, you've just pissed off all males who could have qualified for that position. And you pissed off all non-black females who could have qualified for that position. And of course, all non-binary, pansexual, etc., etc. people who could have qualified for that position. And when you hire based on race and gender instead of qualifications, you get, say, Kareem Jean-Pierre, if you will. In the case of, say, a Supreme Court Justice, the most qualified black female may only have, we'll just give grand numbers to it. She may only score at a 25 on the qualification scale. Then you have the most qualified black man. He might score a 47. The most qualified white male may score 46. The most qualified white female may score 51. And just to throw this out there, the most qualified Asian male or female might score 97. But instead, you certain individuals, Joe Biden bitch, <coughs> decided, okay, well, I will go and lower my standards. Instead of getting a 97, I'm going to put someone there who is a 25. So when you do that, you, uh, as I said, basically you get Kareem Jean Pierre, the press secretary. You get Kamala Harris, the vice president. You get people who are not qualified or barely qualified to perform their duties while passing over people who are eminently more qualified. And when you do that and you tell people you needn't bother to apply, then you piss those people off. And this Rosita or Crab Daddy character, they can't strike back at the uh, hiring managers for these firms for passing them over for better jobs so what they do is they strike back at the race who has supplanted them due to discrimination and in this case it's the black race and they're taking it out on black children there's more of that shit to come wait and see and if I can find it I'm going to put the link in the description box to a story um of a coffee house in Canada where they put it on Twitter I believe and then they quickly took it down telling white men they need not apply what are your thoughts gentle viewer you can put them in the comment box hell I get lonely without any comments that's it that's all I'm out